In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to navigate the Beaver Builder page editor. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, there are several ways you can access the Beaver Builder page builder. First, you can go to Pages. And when you go over your page that you're trying to build, you can simply create a new page, and you'll see that there is a link for Beaver Builder. If you click this link, it will open up the page builder. Another way to open up the page builder is if you're actually editing the page. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and click edit here. And you can see that I am greeted with this large blue button that says launch Beaver Builder. If I click this button, it will also launch Beaver Builder. The last place that I want to show you is if you're actually viewing the page from the front. So let's go ahead and view it from the front of the website. From here, you also notice that the top admin bar allows you to click the Beaver Builder link from the very top. So all three areas that I've mentioned, if you click the link or the button, it will send you to a page that looks like this. Once you see a screen like this, you'll know that you're actually using Beaver Builder. So from here, if you go from the very top left, you'll see that you'll have the name of the page that you're currently editing. You'll see our logo of the Beaver. And if you click this down arrow, it will open up a menu of tools that are available to you. You can save templates from here, create duplicate layouts, get access to some development areas like layout CSS and JavaScript, create some global settings, and also get access to your WordPress admin area. I'm not going to go through all of these sections at this time, but I wanted to let you know that these are available for you to explore. Next, you'll see this bell icon. When you click on the bell icon, you'll see some important articles that we publish from time to time that we want you to know about. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the content panel. From here, you can always access it by clicking this plus button. The content panel gives you access to several tabs. For example, modules, rows, templates, and also any saved templates that you have. We will provide some in-depth videos of each individual modules. But in this video, we wanted to show you an overview of some that are available. If you go to the next section and you click on this down arrow, you'll notice that you have access to more content modules. For example, WordPress widgets or any save modules that you have. If you wanted to do a quick search, you can always click on the search icon and search for your favorite module. For example, if I typed in video, it will filter it down to any video modules that we have available to you. In the Rows tab, if you click on the down arrow, you'll get access to pre-built rows, any saved columns or rows that you have created. In the Templates tab, when you click on the down arrow, you'll get access to our content page templates and also any saved templates that you have created. Finally, the button on the top right-hand corner where it says Done, if you click on this, it gives you access to a couple options. You could either discard the changes that you currently made. You can save this as a draft if you wanted to come back and edit it for future. Or if you're ready to publish the page as is, you can click Publish. So that concludes our quick tour of Beaver Builder. For more information, check out our knowledge base.